There can be little doubt that our global environment is changing. The science is unequivocal. It's all too clear that we'll be seeing rising temperatures and sea levels, more frequent and intense extreme weather events such as heavy rains, heat waves, cyclones and floods. This will impact fundamental issues like access to food and water. This in turn will impact people's health. We're also likely to see new and changing diseases and people falling sick because of pollution. And people will start leaving their homes as some places become uninhabitable over time. All existing projections point to large scale changes ahead. And we can only anticipate the humanitarian needs this will bring and we need to adapt the way we work to be able to respond. We know from experience that it's the most vulnerable who will be the most affected, making them even more vulnerable. We know because we're already seeing them in our waiting rooms. We're now looking at how we can best address this and get ready for the future. We have chosen to do this through the lens of planetary health. Planetary health is a relatively new health discipline. Uh, it focuses on the changes that humans are making to our environment and the impacts that that has on human health. These changes to the environment destabilize the natural ecosystem, causing climate change and pollution of our air, soil and rivers. This, in turn, affects the water we drink and the air we breathe. It means we will see disruptions to our food production systems and changing patterns of diseases such as malaria. It means we may see new diseases we didn't know before, and also the re-emergence of other diseases as the ecological conditions for transmission of diseases change. The main idea behind planetary health is that it is looking at how all this is linked and how humans are responsible for these changes. Our health depends upon the well-being of the planet, and the well-being of the planet depends on how we act. It is all linked. We are a medical humanitarian organization, so it touches us in two fronts. It touches us as medics, because as medics we are, we are concerned about the health of the, our patients, their communities and the populations we are trying to serve. But also, as a humanitarian, we are concerned to preventing negative outcomes of humanitarian crisis. And we do know that the environment has an impact on health and has an impact to worsen already existing humanitarian crisis. So it's, it's part of who we are in a way. We are seeing now malaria in places where they were not before because the mosquito now can survive. We see introduction of mosquito transmitted diseases such as Zika or Dengue in urban settings in a larger scale. If the water changes temperature, the Vibrio cholera can survive easier. So there is a direct link between environment and environmental conditions and mainly the vector transmitted diseases. Donc quand on parle de regarder toute nouvelle intervention avec, en intégrant un prisme euh, santé planétaire, c'est se dire, ok, donc au niveau climatique ici, il se passe quoi Est-ce que les sécheresses sont plus sévères Est-ce que les pluviométries sont plus sévères Est-ce qu'il y en a moins Mais quand il y en a, elles lavent tous les sols. Est-ce qu'on a une augmentation de la température en moyenne euh, Qu'est-ce que ça implique pour les populations C'est toujours des éléments qu'on a, qu a regardés, mais sur lesquels on ne s'est pas nécessairement penché de façon systématique. On a besoin de savoir ça parce que ça, ça va induire des besoins médicaux opérationnels chez les populations qui peuvent probablement être différents de ce que c'était il y a dix ans. Donc l'objectif de comprendre ce qui se passe d'un point de vue environnemental, d'un point de vue de température, d'un point de vue, euh, on va dire, entre guillemets, santé planétaire, mais ça regroupe tous ces phénomènes-là, c'est de pouvoir anticiper quels vont être les besoins des populations et comment nous, on va garantir qu'on met à disposition des services de santé qui correspondent aux besoins et pas par rapport à bah, ce qu'on faisait d'habitude pour ce genre de problème. Our medical action is not fundamentally going to change, but we are going to add an eco-friendly lens to it. Our medical action should not be implemented in a way that jeopardizes the future of our patient tomorrow.
And our medical action needs to be aware the way we implemented it without jeopardizing quality and, and reactiveness, doing it in a way that is the less harmful for people and environment. We can cure people, but we also have to avoid making people sick. So we have a double responsibility as a, as a, as a medical organization of restoring physical health, but maintaining environmental health to avoid people getting sick tomorrow. As running hospitals, as running large medical programs, we are reviewing our way of working in those programs to be able to provide the same level of care. And, 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 and with the same speed and impact, but trying to make it in a way that does not contribute to the climate emergency. On va faire bien pour les populations, on va s'adapter, mais nous, en tant qu'institution, est-ce qu'on est propre, en gros Est-ce que, est que nos pratiques ne contribuent pas elles-mêmes à la détérioration de, de la planète. Si on prend en charge les populations affectées par des, des maladies émergentes qui ont un, un lien avec une dégradation du climat, une dégradation de l'environnement, notre rôle, évidemment, c'est d'éviter que cet environnement se détériore un peu plus. Donc pour moi, c'est normal que ça fasse partie intégrante du plan stratégique. Et c'est plus est-ce qu'on doit le faire ou euh, est-ce qu'on le fera dans dix ans. Non, on aurait probablement dû le faire il y a déjà dix ans. On est déjà largement en retard, mais maintenant, il faut qu'on avance euh, par rapport à ça. Quoi. Et on n'a pas le choix. On n'a pas le choix. We need to care for our patients in a way that does not harm them and their communities tomorrow. And for doing that, we need to take our own responsibility to be the most environmental friendly medical organization we can be.